Welcome back guys, this is Srikanth again. Uh, today I'm going to create a video which is basically interesting one. So as a newcomer or as a beginner, when you initially try to connect to SQL Server, you people get a lot of confusion, right? So at the, at the opening time, we see this pop-up. And pop-up shows connect to server. Okay, fine. And um, it asks us a lot of things like server type, which uh, which server do you want to connect? Do you want to convert to database engine or do you want to connect to SQL Server integration services or do you want to connect to SQL Server reporting services or do you want to connect to SQL Server analysis services? So basically different different services are there. And mostly the SQL programmer or the database programmer connect to database engine as they only have the two dimensional uh, database engine installed and they mostly work on that, right? And the interesting thing is that when we install SQL Server on machine, our machine and we uh, we normally we don't know the name uh, server name actually. So what's my server name and all the stuff. So people do what? People normally place dot. So putting a dot in a server name, what does it mean? It will automatically take all your uh, basically default installed uh, instance from your system. So it will buy, it will connect to the default SQL instance actually. So if you don't know the name for the server which you are going to connect, so don't worry about that. Just place a dot so it will connect to your local server and it will by default connect to your local server system, which is basically installed on your machine. But sometimes we actually require name of a server. So in that case, how to find it? For that, what we need to do? We need to go to the drop down here just click on that and browse for more so we are going to find out the server for this instance so here we'll see the database engine if we are going from the analysis one we'll see the analysis services integration service all the stuff but right now just focus on the database engine here so you need to expand you need to click on this plus sign so all the respective install instances of your server of a SQL server will be shown to you so I installed SQL server three times and basically I have multiple version installed on my machine so so different different instances are there so you can see Srikanth this is a one server Srikanth slash express 01 this is another server and this is another server. so basically I do have three server installed on a machine I need to start all these servers when I start my system you know you guys know how to start and stop all the stuff right and for that I do have a video you guys get it on my uh, front uh, front page on the YouTube okay so so these are basically three instances of my server I need to select any one uh, where my respective database is located so I'm going to select a free camp and uh, you know I don't know the name for the server and I just have the hint this could be the part of um, this data. So basically, I can find my server name here. So as I'm a new user and I just installed my SQL Server on my machine, so I'm coming to here to database engine. I'm select. I'm seeing all the respective instances which are installed on my machine. I'm selecting any one and just selecting Shrikan, fine, and clicking on connect. So you can see here the Shrikan, right? Srikanth is a my server name and which we just connected or if you think that the server which you are connected this is not the, your respect to you, um, instance right then again you can go back here again you can go to browse for more then you can again go here you can select other one so just select this one and click on connect so sometime you need to start all the services manually right as I said I do have a multiple instances so I'm connected to that so these are a way basically this is the simplest way to find out the server name another way is to find out the server name is you can connect to the server with the dot right just place a dot into your server and you will be connected then you need to write a query like select a global variable server name this will tell you the name of your server just run it 
so this is a internal name for my server you, you can rename it to user defined but this is a name of my desktop actually so you can so basically there this is the way we can connect to the server right so here you can come here you can do just do a right click this is just for information purpose for the beginner actually my in i intention is to tell you guys how can you find out your server name right you can find it this yes, Srikant is my server name okay then the memory and um, right all those things we can see here initial thing which are required and also i can find out the uh my files like uh, where my data files are present dot mdf file then where are my dot ldf file present i can see all those things here okay fine so this is a way we can connect to sql server if you if you want to find out the server name for on your local machine you can do that okay and if you want to connect to the uh, another services like let's say i you want to convert to integration services and you want to find out the integrations so no sorry yeah for the integration we can connect to the same server so for example reporting services and here just go for the browse for more you can see go to the reporting services so same server i'm going i'm using actually shrikan is my server name where all the reporting services, analysis services, integration services, and my database engine are installed. So that's why this Recon server is showing me you know, all the places. Fine. So hope you guys um, enjoyed my video on the point that how can we find out the server name on a local machine. So it will be help you. Thanks for watching.